Well, welcome everybody to a tutorial on uh, SkySieve and BendingMomentDiagram.com just to show you how to use our Moment of Inertia calculator. Uh, this calculator is available for free on BendingMomentDiagram.com um, and also available to any of our SkySieve users uh, on any of the paid accounts. Um, so this is the version on BendingMomentDiagram.com. You can see um, I've got a little cross section there. Um, I can add an edit section and I've also got the results page just here. Um, I could, I can click here and add it all here, but I'm going to take the demonstration through um, just on one of our paid calculators. So this is our uh, SkySiv frame calculator. So I can see there. So you can see that this is part of um, our a quite larger calculator. But I'm just going to show you how to use the moment of inertia calculator here. Okay, so like the um, version on BennyMomentDiagram.com, um, it will start out with a rectangular section there and it will be asking me for width, height, uh, and a few little information just here. Uh, it's kind of like a condensed version of our full moment, free moment of inertia calculator on BennyMomentDiagram.com. Okay, so um, I've got a drop-down list here, so I can choose from a range of different sections. So I've got hollow rectangular, circular, hollow circular, I-beam, T-beam, L-beam, H-beam, triangular, and finally I've got a custom section as well so I can en actually enter um, the results that I might already have from a previous section or a section that's a little bit more complex than any of these um, initial versions. Um, for today I'm going to do an I-beam. Uh, it's traditionally a uh, very common section um, that we do design for uh, and it's going to ask me for certain dimensions. So for the first one it's asking me for top flange width um, which I'll just put in as 100. So I've got um, as part of this calculator, I am using SI units, so I will be using millimeters for this section. Okay, so top flange thickness is 10. I'll make it um, symmetric. Okay, so I've entered all my dimensions there. Um, I've just followed the di diagram there. I uh, just entered them in without you putting any units, just the numbers. Uh, and then I want to enter in my Young's modulus here. So not so much for the moment of inertia calculator, but more for this uh, SkySib frame calculator. I will need to enter that in. I can select from some common materials, so say structural steel. Again, I'm using um, the metric system, so that is in megapascals, um, 200,000 megapascals, um, which is the Young's modulus for steel. And it will ask me for a poisons ratio. I'm just going to put in 0 0.27 there. Again, if I was using the moment of inertia calculator on bending moment diagram, I won't need to enter any of that information. And I can also change um, my dimensions there just a little bit easier. But I will show you the benefits of entering a section in this calculator. Okay, so once I've entered all that, I can hit calculate. And it will show me there all the information I need to know. So I can open that up a little bit and just see uh, all the results from uh, the moment of inertia calculator. So I can see my area, I've got my section area there is 6,000 millimeters squared. I've got my moment of inertia about the x-axis, moment of inertia about the y-axis, the distance, uh, that's the centroid, so from the bottom, um, the distance from the centroid, sorry, the centroid from the bottom of the section. So CY um, is 110 millimeters, which means 110 millimeters from the bottom of this section here up is where the centroid occurs. Um, similarly is the um, the centroid in the x direction, so 50 millimeters. So starting from the left, coming across, it'll be 50 millimeters. It'll be right here in the middle of the section because it is symmetrical. Um, On to my next one, QX. So QX is a statical moment of an area about the x-axis. So this is important in stress. Um, so stress results, you'll need to know QX. Uh, and QY, just depending on where the forces are coming from. Uh, and that's in millimeters cubed there. And finally, I've got the section modulus about the X and Y axis. So that's ZX and ZY, again, in millimeters cubed. All there, very nice and uh, neat neat way to present the information. Um, I can then submit that. That'll enter it all into my section there. So it is very useful way to add a section on the SkySiv frame calculator. Similarly, the moment of inertia calculator on bendingmomentdiagram.com, I can just add in my dimensions here and calculate. It's actually got 
the explanation of the results. So it has a little bit more information there. So you can refer to that on uh, bendingmomentdiagram.com. But if you are a paid user, you also have access to that here on skysiv.com. So you can actually um, do exactly the same as the bending moment diagram. You can calculate nice, nice and quickly. I can calculate the moment of inertia, you know, all that information very easily on my SkySiv account. So again, um, this is available at skysiv.com or bendingmomentdiagram.com. We, um, we definitely recommend using it if you need some quick moment of inertia calculations or any other information regarding a section. Um, and I look forward to hearing back from you. Any feedback that you might have, please email us at info at skysiv.com or just uh, comment on, the, the, on our YouTube video just below. Thanks a lot.